What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will review Masonry Defender Chimney Crown Sealer and Masonry Defender Chimney Brick Sealer. I applied these one year ago and filmed the process, so in this video, I will unbox them, apply them to the chimney, then show the results after one year of sun, rain, and snow. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now let's get started. Let's start with the Chimney Crown Sealer. This is step one of their easy three-step system to waterproof your chimney and stop chimney leaks fast. Straight out of the box, the Chimney Crown Sealer container is intact and wrapped in a protective plastic bag. Here are the tools I'll be using to apply it. A paintbrush, a wire brush, a broom, and a spray bottle with water. Now let's get all these supplies up there and get started. Here's the chimney that we'll be working on. First, the surface and air temperature need to be between 45 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. It's currently 78 degrees, so we're all set. Next, no rain for four hours. Our forecast is sunny all day, so let's continue. Now it's time for surface preparation. Larger cracks and voids can be filled with cement or caulking. I've got a couple cracks, so I filled them with caulking. I applied the caulking about a week before this project, so it's all cured in this project. Next, brush the surface to be coated with a stiff poly or wire brush to remove loose particles. I had quite a bit of growth and debris present, and a wire brush did a great job at cleaning it up. First, I scrubbed everything down really good with a wire brush. Then I followed up with the broom. It cleaned up very nice. Oh yes, this is looking good. Next, it's time for application. Lightly mist the crown with water using a spray bottle. Spray, spray, spray. Now, apply a thin coat using a synthetic paintbrush. So, let's open this stuff up and check it out. The lid's a little tough to get off. Here it is. It's definitely on the thicker side, but it still sloshes around. If you tip the bucket, it'll flow. And running the brush through it, the best I can describe it is maybe like thin frosting. Toothpaste also comes to mind, but I don't know if it flows like that. Now let's get to work and apply one coat to the entire crown. First, here's a time lapse of this little section, about a third of it. And here's a real time close up of applying this paste. It definitely takes some effort to smear it on, to grind it down into all the pores. I recommend wearing some gloves, so you don't get blisters from the paintbrush handle. And here it is, all painted up with one coat. Even though I try to get it on thick, it does look kind of thin. And finally, after the first coat sets for a few minutes, apply a second, heavier coat. So here we are applying a second coat. The second coat went on easier, I think because it's going on top of a smoother base coat, instead of having to grind it into all the pores of the concrete. I also did this little chimney over here. I was able to do the first coat no problem, but didn't quite make it through the second coat. So I completed the triple chimney and almost the single chimney with one bucket. I used every bit of it. Now let's apply the chimney brick sealer. This is step two in their product lineup to waterproof your chimney and stop chimney leaks fast. Again, out of the box, it is intact and in a plastic protective bag. I'm not going to get deep into the instructions, but basically, apply it with a roller or a pressure sprayer, starting at the bottom and moving to the top, and apply a second coat within 3-5 to five minutes after the first coat. So here's the first coat on the front face. I used a pressure sprayer, starting at the bottom and going up to the top. And here's a close-up of the first coat, right after it's applied. I continued around, applying the first coat to the rest of the three faces. And here's the second coat being applied. I sprayed it out of the pressure sprayer onto the chimney. And I also used it on the small chimney. And here is the result with the crown sealer and the brick sealer. Just so you know, I did an amazing job, and what you are seeing is very impressive. Very impressive. But seriously, if you happen to be wondering about these black chimney caps, I also did an unboxing, installation, and one year review video on these as well. I'll put a link down in the video description. And we are back one week later after everything is cured. 
I sprayed some water on it to see how the sealants perform. The water just beads up and rolls off. Also, I had some water leaks through this chimney, and with the sealants applied, the leaks were eliminated. It did stop the leaks. So at this point, it appears to be a great product. Now let's let it battle the weather for one year, then come back and check it out. And we are back one year later. It's the middle of summer again. So let's get up there and check it out. I'm bringing up the pressure sprayer so we can retest spraying water on them. The first impression is that everything is present and intact. There are no visual complaints. You might notice some dark gray spots on the crown coating. That's where I went back and added some more caulk on top because I thought I saw some possible gaps where I did not fill the cracks well enough before applying the sealant. I will point out that these stains on the roof are the result of applying the brick sealant. The excess ran down the chimney and onto the shingles. So if you do not want stains on your shingles, use tarps or drop cloths or something to protect them when applying the sealant. Now let's spray some water on it. On the crown, the water does not bead and fall off like it did last year. It just gets wet, but it's still waterproof, so I suppose it's doing the job. The brick sealant appears to have held up very well. When sprayed, the water just beads up and falls off. So that covers the application and the one year results. I'm personally completely satisfied with this product and would definitely recommend it. It's a relatively inexpensive solution to extend the life of your chimney and to prevent or stop leaks. Even if I had a brand new chimney, I would apply these right away. If you have any cracks or gaps, take your time and fill them well before applying the sealants. I kind of rushed it as an afterthought because I was in a hurry to apply the sealants. And I think that wraps it up. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.